What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Money, baby. And welcome back to another session of Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful. And I want to show y'all my little uh, collection I got going on. Hubby is starting to buy me wine. He says that I need to give the liquor up for a while. And I think I'm going to give it up, period. I know it's going to be a very long time before I drink some more liquor. But uh, if I do at all... So, I'm just going to say I'm giving it up, period. And I'm just going to start drinking wine. Liquor don't do me no justice. Because my attitude already bad. <laughs> and um, when I start drinking that vodka and cran grape, my attitude get worse. So, I'm just going to start drinking wine. And sip like a lady. And just get tipsy and just start feeling that wine and feeling good and it's all gravy so these are the wines that I have been given by my husband one is Southern Home and it's the Moscata by Southern Home Moscata is good ladies it is good and Southern Homes you know that's a good wine but um, another good wine is Gala and it's a uh, vineyard and this is Chardonnay Made, I guess, in California since 1933. And this is another one. And this is the Chardonnay. And that is another great wine. And over here, I have another gala. And it is also the Moscata. But it's by Gala instead of uh, the Southern Home. I have another gala. And this one is the... Uh, let me see white Ziffindale. you can see that it's the white Ziffindale. so those are the wines that he has bought me so far and i just got them sitting on top of my uh my little entertainment center in my bedroom these is one of this is one of my wine glasses that i drink out of um we had girls night out at the club one night and these are the glasses that we had made for girls night out me and my home girls and uh it just got a little fur that we put around it and it's just a pretty little blue glass. And we drink our wine out of it at the club when we go to the club. It's one of my wine glasses. This is another wine glass that I have. We made a girls night out. And it's just wide like that. And we uh, decorated it and we had put this little um, it was a 4th of July. And we had girls night out and this is red white and blue thistles that we put all around the glass and just decorated it i got potpourri in it now <laughs> but this one i like so i drink out of that so when i go to the club but those are my wines that i have been drinking ladies and i just wanted to show you guys some of the wines that i have been drinking and i'm also on uh this wine kick called I think it's, uh, let me get y'all set up real fast. <laughs> I think it's a wine called, uh, let me get y'all set up. Back over here in my little spot. I guess you can see me. There we go. I guess you can see me. Anyway, that's the uh, wine that I've been drinking, and uh, I'm drinking, uh, I think it's Frenzia. It's in a box, and this is the um, Sunset Blush. I drink a wine, a wine, a glass of wine every night before I go to bed. It makes you sleep real good. <laughs> Try it, ladies. Just pour you a glass of a wine before you get ready to go to bed. You'll sleep real good. So that's that. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, in case y'all wanted to try some wine. Uh, I know y'all all know about Southern Home, and that's some great wine. Uh, but that Gala, that's some great wine. And my favorite is the um, uh, Moscata, and then um, White Zippendale, and then the uh, Chardonnay. 
So that's that. So try it. Go buy y'all a bottle of Gallo wine and Moscato. Try it and tip, come back and tell me how y'all like it. And yes to my haters, I am going to be sipping on wine while I'm doing this video. Sorry, you don't like it. Please exit the building. And to the one who wants me to stop smacking when I'm doing videos, it's a habit. It's something I've been doing since I was a little girl. Sorry. I love you as a subscriber. But please don't tell me what to do in my videos. I, I like your videos, but could you please stop smacking? Please don't tell me what to do in my video. I love you as a subscriber. But if you're going to tell me what to do in my video, please exit the building. I don't need you. If you're going to act like that, I'm sorry. So, I don't mean no harm. I know you probably didn't mean no harm, but smacking is just something that I do. Um, my husband be telling me that. My kids tell me that. It's just a habit. And it's an old habit. And old habits are hard to break. So, with that being said, let's move on to the little, uh, I was going to say the how, the um, review on the L'Oreal One Sweep Eyeshadow. And on the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And I love it, you guys, so far. I'm tell you the first thing I hate about it is that it is not waterproof. They haven't came out with a waterproof one yet. You know they will, but they haven't came out with one yet. So, I'm loving the Voluminous Million Lashes. The one looks like this. It's a bristle one. Um, it's um, it ain't too big. I mean, it's 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 it ain't too big, and I like the little spiky bristles because they get right in them lashes and pull them and make them long and pretty. And that's what I have on my lashes right now. I don't know if you can see it. Now me looking at that uh, pimple I got right there. Something broke me out right there. And right there and right there I don't know what did but it broke me out but I like this mascara it's great it's great I like it I can't say too much about it I mean it's the blackest that it's it's the blackest that it comes I like the tube the little gold tube looks, looks expensive I like that you know pop out your little gold tube mascara but um, it, it lends to my lashes and it also it don't give them too much volume but they, it lengthens and separates that's what I can say about it lengthens and separates so that's that um, try it, I do recommend it I'm going to get another one but I want it in waterproof y'all all know about the eye studio um, by Maybelline this is the purple I showed y'all the other day and I just wanted to show y'all. It is pigmented. So that's how it looks. This blue and this blue and white and purple over here, it turns that color blue and that's the purple. So that's that. I'm gonna pull my little dirty rag, got my makeup rag, wipe my hands. And then the one sweep. I don't know about that one sweep stuff, you guys. But uh I ain't gonna use the wand no way this right here because we so into our brushes that we don't use the one that come out of the thing but it's supposed to it post this is one I've already tried and you're supposed to brush it down like this and it comes on your brush like that and then you're supposed to sweep it and see that's how it come came out it does come out like that and then when you're doing it, doing another eye, you're supposed to turn it over this way and sweep it upside down and do the other eye. My camera not doing it no justice, but it do show up the uh the it's got like a 
goldish color, pink and a brown, and it do show up gold, pink, brown lines. But when you put it on your eye, it don't show up like that. I'm going to do an eye for you because I ain't got no makeup on. See, it comes out. It comes out, but the, um, it just, it's just lines. You know what I'm saying? You got the brown there, the pink there, and the white up there. But it's not, you can't blend with this. You can't, you know, put the colors where you want them. Um, I mean, you just can't. And like that pink don't show up enough for me. I'd rather have more pink like in my crease area or whatever like that but uh it works if you just want to go one sweeping out the door and not blend not uh put it where you want to and all that good stuff then bam sweep and go but uh mm -mm, i wouldn't use the wand uh now I can say that it is pigmented. And it is, let me see, let me show you. See how they come on? Let me show you the brown. So they are pigmented. So if you use your brushes and go off in here, then these are some great, these are great eyeshadows. I recommend them. I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna use all of them. Because with my brush, I can go in what color I want and put it where I want to and everything and blend and make it all look you know how it's supposed to look but with this one sweep right here nah i mean like i say it does it it does it but it just it ain't putting it where i want it and i know you can't see that it's not putting it where i want it where i exactly want it and it's not blending it out for me so that I wouldn't use but the eyeshadow I would definitely use so that's that one and then they have a purple one and it's got the dark purple it's got like a toffee looking color and then it got like a shimmery pink looking color so they are pigmented. So I recommend them as shadows, but that one sweet little brush thing, yeah. This is another darker brown one that I have. Looks like that. And I like this brown one. And like I say, they pigmented. They are pigmented, so dark brown, dark brown, and then them too. So, I do recommend you try them. Here's another color that they have. They numbers that I, I mean, if they got colors wrote down there, I can't read it. I ain't got my glasses on, but they numbers. And here's another color. I'm just swooping down the middle, showing you that they pigmented. And here's another color. But I didn't open them for y'all when I did my haul to show y'all. There you go. Here's that green color. Here's that other color with the blue in it. They are very pretty. And last but not least, this one. And y'all, I ain't making no video over no 15 minutes. 15 is long enough for me. Um, when I be looking at videos that's over 15 minutes, I get bored. I start skipping through the video. I ain't got time to look at no 20-minute video. So I ain't gonna make y'all sit through now. 15 is good enough. So that's that, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, swatches. And I'll be back with more reviews, more eyeshadow looks, more hauls. I love you guys. Do see.